In today's video, we are seeing what happens when you freeze dry a carved pumpkin. Guys, we have three different versions of edible pumpkins here. Believe it or not, some sorts of pumpkins you're not supposed to eat. They're just for decoration. Uh -huh. However, in theory, what we've got are all eating. This, for <laughs> instance, is the kind of pumpkin you would use if you were trying to make your own pumpkin pie from scratch yep. and not use a canned filling. This one is, you know, I'm not really entirely sure. It was just wash before consuming pumpkin. That's what it said. And this kind of pumpkin is the kind that's already been made into pie, which is kind of my favorite type of pie. Here's the basic idea. We want to see what will happen when we suck all the water out of a jack-o'-lantern, along with a few other different types of pumpkin. What is gonna happen? So we're gonna have some thin slices of pumpkin pie turned sideways on our freeze drying tray. We're gonna yep. have some like whole slices, the way you would normally eat them, with some whipped cream on top. Mm -hmm. This one I think you wanted to just slice yep, up into put in like pieces. chunks and stuff. And this one, the plan is to just carve it as a small jack-o'-lantern. Yes, so this was actually an idea that I have seen in the comment section a lot recently. Spoiler alert, this is before Halloween. That we're filming it. Yes, that's fine, it's still fall, it's still a good time for pumpkins. But I am gonna carve this into a tiny little jack-o'-lantern today and see what happens. Callie, I think, is about ready to lobotomize our <laughs> pumpkin here. I am going to slice some pumpkin pie. Okay, pumpkin. So this one, I'm going to remove the top and I'm gonna to carve it out, like hollow it out, but then I'm not gonna carve a face into it. I'm just gonna slice it up into pieces. Wow, it looks like a honeydew. Smells kind of like a honeydew, frankly. Going for a variety of thicknesses in our slices here. Okay, several good pieces of that pumpkin from very, very thin up to well over an inch thick and I'm fairly sure it will not all freeze dry. We'll see. I've been surprised by what manages to freeze dry before. You can't have it, River, but you can smell it. Yep, that's what you were eating. I like it. Done. Oh, you can reach the desktop now. Oh no! Okay, we discovered earlier that River really likes pumpkin. Go ahead and put that like that. I think we're good. We have got... A carved pumpkin, some sliced pumpkin. Yep. A puppy. A puppy and some pumpkin saying pie. saying hi and some pumpkin pie and of course our pumpkin pie needs a More. healthy dollop of whipped cream. That's, More. it's very aesthetically pleasing like that. Not Just off to the side. It's not ideal for taste. All right, well, See? I yes. just put some more on. Yeah, exactly, we just have to know. Let our harvest right freeze dryer suck all the moisture out of this and see what's left. Well, it's been 24 hours. How is our jack-o'-lantern doing? I it looks am, cold. It is very cold, I didn't put it on a defrost. I'm actually very impressed with this. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely lighter. lighter. Uh, it does have a little bit of that rotten pumpkin mm -hmm, the texture squish. where it just, yeah, it starts to lose some strength. The top of it is definitely dry. And that was just sitting on the tray, yes. right? So yeah, it's interesting though, a lot of things when we dry them out, like it just turns to a sponge that's very mm -hmm. crunchy. This is like a soft Squishy. sponge. Yeah, we can squish it. It doesn't fall apart into dust like several things do. This has turned out more, let's, let's see if this, I bet this snaps. Yep. Oh yeah, like styrofoam. Look at that, pumpkin. Styrofoam, and I bet, yep, crumbles. This one didn't uh, freeze dry all the way through. Another one that's a little bit squishy. Okay, so yeah, this one's not snapping. This one is uh, still squishy. And it could be that this would get drier if we had you know, maybe mm -hmm. run it for another session. We took it off of the tray and put it on the paper towel because the trays, when they come out very cold, then a lot of water condensation forms, and we just didn't want that to soak in to all of the pumpkin pieces. So we took them out, put them on the paper towel. So yeah, this one definitely still has some water in it. Yep, those the ones thin do ones, not. Yeah, that is not the sound. I can indent it with my finger, scratch it up. Pumpkin. Ooh. Look at that, you can see some moisture, especially down near the rind. It wasn't able to pull water out as well. Okay, Neat. and then we have our pumpkin pie. We have our whole piece, which I didn't think anything was gonna get through the crust. And no. while I don't think it got all of it, it's certainly something, and our whipped cream has certainly solidified. Speaking of the whipped cream, we have a chunk of it here. I think we've freeze-dried whipped cream before, mm -hmm. but. It is delicious. It's 
really good. <laughs> it's like a crunchy marshmallow, but cream flavor. And then we have our thinner slices of pumpkin mm -hmm. pie crust on. Didn't perfectly keep its shape, but that's probably my cutting technique. Here goes. Oh boy. <laughs> pumpkin pie should not ever be described as crunchy. No, it shouldn't. How's the flavor? That's actually quite good. Okay, okay. So I thought that this would turn into the styrofoam, like the thin piece of pumpkin, and it didn't. So, you know, there's a lot of things in the pumpkin pie that aren't just water, mm -hmm. and I suspect there's a lot of corn syrup and sugar, whatever recipe this exactly was from Walmart, I think. So it has become fairly dense and hard with some crunch to it. And while it's not a pie texture, it is actually good. Like it's, it tastes delicious. That bigger piece, I don't think that's freeze dried all the way through. If it's yeah. hard, I'm gonna guess it's because it's frozen still. Uh, it doesn't feel cold, so I don't think it's still frozen, but I am gonna see if I can bite through this front part here. No. Kind of. Whoa. <laughs> I think it actually did freeze dry okay. all the way through. It's just more dense than I was expecting it to yeah. be. Like, I'm gonna get a knife and try and cut it right down the middle, but. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, there's all some All the way bubbles. through. Nice and airy, mm -hmm. but I think it really dried it. I think it, that whole piece of pie got dry all the way through, which I did not expect it to do. But I could definitely see people like intentionally making desserts that were like this. Probably not a whole piece of pie like this, but like some stick cookie type things. I think that could be popular. One other thought is okay. we could take that and run it through another cycle. I kind of want to. But let's do a second cycle where that's all that's in there and just see how freeze dried it'll get. We freeze dried the pumpkin nearly successfully. This is the strangest thing ever. It looks like it's covered in little micro cracks. Yeah, the peel definitely reacted to being dried out like that. But then there's some spots that are still squishy, so not all of the water has gotten out of it yet. But it did do a good job. Like this yeah. has lost, so, and listen, it just sounds like it's styrofoam now. Oh boy. Kind of feels like it's styrofoam too. It does. I don't think it's safe to put a candle in it any longer. Ooh, it would probably <laughs> burn pretty well. There you go. Okay, that's like cutting into styrofoam. Would you prefer carving uh, raw pumpkin or freeze-dry pumpkin? Raw pumpkin, this is interesting. It is like kind of carving styrofoam, but it is, it's so fragile that I'm worried I'm gonna break it. Uh, okay. That's fun though, you should try it. I'm oh, curious yep, to see. Pieces do just kind of break yep. out as you're carving. It doesn't have quite as much structural integrity as you might like. I'm curious to see uh, how bad the sides of it rot now. Okay. Because it's been frozen multiple times. There's not a ton of water in it, so how long can we keep our jack-o-lantern? So follow us on Instagram to check out the process of freeze-dried jack. And this has been really cool. We managed to almost freeze dry an entire little pumpkin. Probably could use another trip through, but that's fine. That's right. It'll be interesting to see the difference in how parts do mold or don't mold, or maybe it'll all mold. We don't know, that's what we're gonna find out. Good idea, guys. We're always looking into your comments, so if you've got an idea, let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got new content for you to see. If you like this kind of video, make sure to hit that box so you can see our other videos too. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Bye.